and let's move into the Q&A point uh, of our, our, our time today. And the Q&A is important because, again, wow, there's just a lot to digest and there's a lot that we've been drinking in. Um, and um, so um, I guess one of the questions, um, one of the questions that I was thinking about that I would like to ask is I'm just going to throw this out to the group here, to the presenters, to those who are asking questions. Are there people I can connect with to journey on the journey of my life vision with me? Are, are there people um, that I can connect with, and how would I do that? Does anyone have a, an answer to that? Well, I think anybody on this call. What's that? I think anybody on this call would be willing to sit with you and you know find out your passions. I know that Jennifer sat with me to try for me to try and figure out my passions. So it's it's getting you know a group of people and just being willing to open up and figure out what you're passionate about and figure out your life vision. Okay. So by taking somebody through the life vision and actually doing it with them and then sharing yours with them, giving them an example perhaps, and doing that with a group of people, you're suggesting that that would be just a good way to do it. Yeah, can't hurt. If you're struggling, okay. you know, maybe somebody has an idea right. that, you know, they can throw right. at you and make you think differently. Yeah, maybe maybe what I should say is this. Now that I have my own life vision, that I've been working through it and living it, um, it's not enough that I'm living it and sharing it. i got to help other people do the same thing. And so what are the steps? And I'm thinking Coffee Connections is a great way to do that. And if you haven't got a Coffee Connections, I recommend you start with it, and I recommend you start with doing your life vision together. But maybe it should just be the, the value of installing systems and understanding or, or just going through the workbook. The workbook is tremendous. And that can help you absolutely kickstart everything into your business. So maybe that's a great way to start. But when you have that life vision and share it and you connect with them, find out what they're really passionate about. You're not talking business. You're not talking what you sell. You're not talking what you build. You're talking life vision. Uh, and then we're talking about specific action steps. Are there any other questions that people have? Um, before we move on to great things of next month. Yeah, since this is the last one, Kevin, um, yeah. of this, uh, the last one in this year, I was wondering if people wanted to take, you know, to take a, do a dimensional jump. I would. Anyone else do want we, to join us? Do we just kick everybody else off then, Kevin? Because, <laughs> you know, if 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 you're going in the space shuttle and you're making an atmospheric jump and you know yeah. you you have one you know you have one o ring off i mean it can oh. you know you can disintegrate it yep. can vaporize so I, right. I, I just i'm a little nervous in just taking you cuz i don't want everybody else being vaporized oh gosh yeah okay so maybe you should ask that again maybe i jumped on too quick and maybe i scared people i'm sorry i'm going to I'm going to wait. Go ahead and ask Does anyone want to go ahead and make a dimensional jump at the end of year four into year five? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't want to, you know, just put it on pause for about, oh, I don't know, three, four minutes um, or mute so you don't hear this because I don't want you being vaporized. So fair warning. Don't want to be vaporized. So, Kevin, the most painful experience in your life has been what? Has been the death of my son. Rosanna, the most painful um, uh, event in your life has been what? Losing three children. And so that has tremendous force and power. Like just, like how do you go on, you know, with life when those things happen? And so you use that, the it's the um, magic atomic ball principle. And so most people, when they have painful things happen in their life, they uh, 
run away from it. They put it in a box. They don't address it. They don't embrace it. They don't realize that pain and hurt will always produce energy. We can't control that. It's not a choice. Like Kevin didn't have a choice. Rosanna didn't have a choice on that pain entering in their life. There was nothing they could have done to stop it, prevent it. That energy is going to be there regardless. Our choice is what do we do with that energy? In my experience, everyone's had a most painful experience in their life. When they see people who have had more pain than they have had and have it transform their life forever, like it, like they healed quickly or slowly and they figured out how to help other people heal quickly, it motivates and it inspires other people. And so both of you could help everyone else to envision their most painful experience. And then like with Tanglewood, they have, I don't know, 6,000 architects. Well, architects have pain. They have biggest challenges, what they love help with. And so if they went ahead and crafted on a box too, a story, asking a question and telling a story about how that hurt has come to healing and then to helping. So we go from hurt to healing to helping other people. Like the, um, the magic atomic ball principle that Alicia was talking about where we take those things and we leverage those things. There could be hundreds or thousands of people that could attend the mastermind seminar events. And so it's more than just business. It's more than just making more money and having more time. Yes, it does all of that. But it's much, much more significant than that. When we hear those, those stories of hurt, healing, and helping other people, that's going to motivate and inspire people and expand the reach of mastermind sem seminars just beyond anything we could ever dream of. Does that make sense? To everyone yeah what would be the first steps in taking that and, and make and how can I help other people uh, by sharing my video by sending it to them and then just follow up questions to invite them to ask you know their pain what, what would you they don't that? realize like if you help Tanglewood okay to come up with a, asking a question and sharing you know a story so how do you blend death with business growth and opportunity? That's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And no. so there needs to be, and so can anybody think of somebody who is just a wizardist with words who could take something and put it into magical words that would be an email that would be sent out to all of, you know, all of their architects? all of their Alicia. community, all of their past and current clients, all their networks. Like, what would Alicia. that be like? Mm -hmm. So it's being able to see the talents and the gifts that each individual has, has and how do you put them together? So Alan and Nancy have been, you know, invested, you know, they're a lifetime into building Tanglewood Conservatories, and they want that to go beyond them. So how do you take that, and then how do you take the 530 grid, and you GT it, you golden triangle it, so you've got the targets, and then you develop and deliver a message. That message, there's a high statistical probability. That message is the same message that I could use for my business and all the people I know and that Ski could use, and that Kosovo could use, and that Ed and Lee out in, um, out in Reno could use, and Mike and others in Houston could use. I mean, it's something where it's, it's truly life-changing. It, it, like when we say it's, a, it's like an event you've never been part of before, people don't believe that. And so we need stories, we need a message that will resonate with people and shake them at the very core and the essence of who they are to say, you know what, 
it's worth it to check this thing out. Does that help, Kevin? Yeah, it does. Cool. Absolutely. Man, uh, I, I'm, and thank you for sharing that. I, so do you think we actually took the dimensional jump or no? Well, we'll know if we, if we stay there um, because we can move up a dimension, but we can have life's cares kind of get in the way and we move up and then we move back and then we move up and then we move back. So do we follow through on what we've heard today it, or is it something we say, oh, that would have been a good thing to do. I should do that or I will do that. We'll know right. based on what we do after today. Right. Right. We will. Well, I, I can't thank you enough, Mark. I, 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 I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the insight to even think about making a dimensional jump from year four to year five, but that's where we need to be. We have to be there. 